Hey everybody, Joe here. I am back again and it's once again time to open up a box from Video Games Monthly. What's inside? Let's find out. Video Games Monthly is one of those monthly subscription box services for a flat fee. They will send you some games. They have a tier system. You can do, I believe it's three, five, or ten games a month. And these guys do an okay job of giving you your money's worth, in my opinion. So let's dig right in and see what they have. Every month they throw their little uh, thank you note in, which looks like this. And... Then if you get a bonus game other than the, you know, the regular games in your tier, it could be a one-up for one extra game. Sometimes you get more. And this is kind of new. It's business card size instead of their postcard size. And this is like a thing where you can get a chance to win extra games in your next box by posting a picture of what you got this month. They always like to throw in an oddball thing, a toy, collectible, stickers, whatever. And this month is a little vintage packet of Topps tattoos. I want to do something fun because I'm feeling this. I'm opening this up. The glue on it was coming loose already. So let's take a look at the stickers. Or tattoos. Okay, they're just the little paper temporary tattoos on a card strip like this. You know, the kind moisten your arm and then stick them right on. That kind. You know, the kind you get in the Cracker Jack boxes too. You know what I'm talking about. Anybody who uh, was a kid in the 80s or whatever probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You got a Punch Out logo, Nintendo logo, Mario, a Koopa. Uh, Fire Flower, that's a little bald bull on a boxing bell, Cowboy Mario. Uh, Princess Peach, still called Princess Toad, still way back in this. Link, Little Mac, uh, Hoppin' Mario, that's a Ninji for Mario 2. That looks like a really ugly version of a cheap, cheap brown leaf. Or uh, whatever those fish were called in uh, Mario 2. And then the cherries, seeing, the, the, seeing this stuff, you know, that makes me think Mario 2. But it could be any old fish. That is kind of neat. And you know what else is in the little pack and in the little uh, plastic here? Old ass piece of chewing gum. You know. And see what's the date on this? 1989. So this is a nearly 30 year old piece of chewing gum. You know what I'm going to do with this? Surprisingly, I've had worse old gum. It. Instantly turned to powder, but okay. Yeah, totally dissolved pretty much. Not anywhere as gross as I was expecting. Hope you appreciate what I do for you people, but let's really get into the games. First is uh Rugrats the movie. Auto focus. Auto focus. Auto focus don't want to cooperate, do you? Whatever. And then we've got a copy of Missile Defense 3D with the box. No manual for the Sega Master System. That is kind of neat. And the next one is Sonic Riders. This looks like, yeah, it's just a generic DVD case with the disc. So, that's okay. I mean, it still looks nice on the shelf having a case. And the last thing on here, hey, sealed. Don't know if that's a reseal or not, because I don't see a strip on top. I don't know if all of, uh, Wii U titles did. I added Wii U into the options for what I get, because I thought, why not be kind of interesting, and there's chances you'd see something like this. If this is a proper seal, which it could very well be, seeing how recent Wii U titles are. And it's Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge. That it is pretty darn cool. You know, I figure I've been neglecting my Wii U since uh, the Switch came out, so what the heck. And 
Well, if you ask me, this is not a bad box all in all. Uh, I mean, Rugrats the movie is probably a little questionable, but everything else looks pretty cool. Um, Missile Defense 3D requires the 3D glasses and a light gun, so I probably won't be playing this one anytime soon. Unless I get the light gun and uh, a CRT. But that is still kind of neat to have with my other Master System games, because I just don't have very many Master System games at all. Sonic Riders, that's another one I think it's kind of odd. It's a Sonic racing game. Okay, this isn't the this isn't like Sonic R. This is one where Sonic and friends they're actually running around. You know, I always thought Sonic R was kind of questionable because you had they're in cars and Sonic probably goes faster than a car already, or at least he looks like he does in those games. So what's up with that? And Ninja Gaiden Three. I don't know if the modern Ninja Gaiden series is any good. I mean, wonder. Would I have preferred a copy of, uh, what is it, Ancient Ship of Doom or whatever, the original Ninja Gaiden 3? I don't know. But, still, a pretty cool box in my opinion. And there you go, that wraps this up. There's going to be a little bit of a delay in my next game review because I am in the middle of learning brand new editing software because my MacBook kind of crapped out on me, so I am going to be doing stuff pretty much all on PC from, at least for the foreseeable future. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.